Hello everyone, this is Jing from Megris Academy. In last video, we talked about some basic concepts of the two-set Venn diagram. Now today in this video, we are going to look at a real problem together and we'll see if we can apply some of the Venn diagram uh, skill set that we learned from last video. So let's uh, read the problem together. Example, there are 50 students in the class. 12 are in the science club and nine are in the math club. Five are in both clubs. And there are five questions that was asked for this problem. And before we answer any of these questions, we want to first illustrate the, um, the relationship of these um, sets with a uh, Venn diagram. And because there is science and there's math. There are two collections of students, right? Two sets of students. So we know that we're dealing with a two-set Venn diagram. As usual, we are going to draw a big rectangle first. Let's extend this a little bit more. So a big rectangle first. And this rectangle is going to be everything. So again, this is my universe my universe of students, of students. And in this problem, that number is going to be 50 because 50 is the total number of students in this class. And after we do that, we can then draw two circles like we always do, two circles, and they have some overlapped region in the middle. And we go ahead and do another circle here. And so we're going to leave this little one um, just empty because that represents um, the students that are not in math or in science. So the students that are in neither of the clubs. And uh, the circle, the big circle on the left, let's say this is our science club. This set is the science club. And we know that the total number of students that are in science club is 12. Now the circle on the right, let's say this one represents the math collection of students. And we know the number is nine. And uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna draw some stripes in the middle. And this is the overlapped region. And we know that the number for this overlapped area is five because the problem told us five students are in both of these two clubs. And as we did in last video, we are going to put some fine dots here on the left. And this uh, fine dot, fine dotted area, and that basically represents the students that are only, only in science, but not, not in math. And we, don't, and we know that that number should be 12 subtracted by five equals seven. So we'll put seven here. And why is that? Is that is because 12 is, you know, basically consisted of two parts. The first part is the students that are only in science, right? And the second part is the students that are both in science and math, and that is five. So to get to the students that are only in the science club, we have to subtract five from 12. So that's how we get seven. And then for the one on the right, we're gonna just do what we did in, like what we did in the last video. We're gonna draw some polka dots here. And this region, are basically, let me do it here. This region is basically the students that are only in math, but not, but not in science. And we know that that number is nine minus five equals four. And why is that? It's very similar to what we did for the science, right? It's because nine is consisted of two parts. The first part is the students that are only in math. 
And the second part is the students that are both in science and in math. And to get the students that are only in math, we have to subtract this five from the nine. So now we have really dissected um, this overlapped Venn diagram. And we've got seven, five, four. And um, now let's read the first question. How many students are in at least one club? At least one club. So that means we are basically looking at the students that are only in math, only in math, plus the students that are only in science, and plus the students that are in both clubs. So at least one club, that's when the students have one club and the students when the students are in two clubs. So we have to add both of these two scenarios. And for the students that are only in one club, and that includes the students that are only in math and the students that are only in science. So we add the three parts together. We have four plus seven plus five. We should have, that's 11 and 11 plus five, that's 16. That's 16. So we should have 16 for the first question. Now the second question, how many students are not in either club, are not in either club? So we know that 16 students are at least in one club. So how many students are not in either club? We can simply use 50 minus 16, that's 34. And we'll go ahead and write 34 here in this empty circle. Question number three, how many students are only in the science club? And that's seven, right? How many students are only in the math club? We already figured that one out, it's four. Number five, how many students are only in one club? Now that's a little tricky, only in one club. And we kind of talked about it here, right? Only in one club that includes the students that are only in math and the students that are only in science. And we should have how many? Four plus seven equals 11. And one more thing about question number one. One more thing about question number one. Another way to do it is that you can simply just add up the total number of students in the science club, which is 12, plus the total number of students that, in our, that are in math club, that is nine. And you subtract five, and you should still get 16. And why is that? Is that when we add 12 and nine, we are adding the overlapped area twice, right? Because five is already included in this 12, five is included in this nine as well. And you add them up, you have added five twice. Now you subtract that extra five, then you should get 16. And um, either way, you use, um, you know, four plus seven plus five or 12, plus nine minus five, you should have 16 for question number one.